we want to ask ourselves how much stock, 11.6 molar HCl, would I need to add to a 500 milliliter volumetric flask so that when I diluted it to a total volume of 500 mils, it has a diluted concentration of 0.7 molar. So when I, after I add this, I add solvent. So I have not added any more HCl. So what I could say is that the moles before dilution, that is the initial moles of HCl, is equal to the moles after dilution, the final moles. And this results in what we call the dilution equation. The initial moles are the molarity initial times the volume initial. The final moles are the molarity final times the volume final. So if I want to solve for the initial moles, I could write this as V initial. And this is equal to, and now I'm going to rearrange this a little bit and write V final times M final over M initial. And the reason I'm doing this is because molarity has units of moles per liter. Our volume is mils. And by putting molarity over molarity, it becomes dimensionless. And I don't have to convert from mils to liter. So now this would be equal to, I want 500 point zero mils. That's the final volume after I have diluted it. And I want it to have a final concentration of 0 0.700 moles per liter. When I added a solution that had an initial concentration of 11.6 moles per liter. And notice how the moles per liter cancel and I'm able to directly go to this and this comes up with 30.17 milliliters and it gets marked wrong because um, although the volumetric flask had four sig figs the concentrations only had three sig figs so it's 30.2 milliliters so in summary if I take 30.2 milliliters put it into this container at the bottom, it will have a concentration of 11.6 moles per liter. Then if I add water and keep adding water until I have 500 mils, I've diluted this concentrated solution, and now it has a concentration of 0.7 molar.